Hi, I'm Brandon Sweeney with Ascentium. Today we're going to talk about TPUs. TPU stands for thermoplastic polyurethane. TPUs are truly amazing for their flexibility, abrasion resistance, both high and low temperature performance, chemical resistance, and of course, toughness. One measure of toughness is elongation at break for tensile loading. Most rigid thermoplastics generally fall between 1 and 100% elongation. TPUs can have well over 500% elongation at break. Because of their unique mechanical properties and ease of processing with conventional melt processing equipment, TPUs are used in footwear, sporting equipment, planes, trains, automotive interiors, exteriors and powertrains, cable coatings, belts and pulleys, hoses, wheels, and much more. These 3D printable rubbers can be made with a wide range of hardness values by altering the ratio of hard and soft segments in the polymer backbone when they're synthesized. The hardness of polymers is commonly measured with the Shore durometer scale. Essentially, a hardened steel rod is pushed into the material with a specified force, and the depth of indentation is measured. There's a few different scales used, but for flexible 3D printing materials, the Shore A and D scales cover the printable range for thermoplastics. You can see the stiffness of several Shore hardness TPUs here. ADA is the most flexible, followed by 95A, then 64D, and the stiffest being 74D. To get the best results when printing TPU, you must keep it dry. We recommend drying the material for four to six hours at 70 degrees Celsius, then transferring it to a sealed container with desiccant during the print. If you notice cloudiness, bubbles, foaming, or excessive stringing during your print, it means the material is wet and it needs to be dried. TPU generally sticks well to a heated bed set between 50 and 80 degrees Celsius. In general, the softer TPUs will have to be printed slower than the harder TPUs, and we generally stick between 20 and 40 millimeters per second. We don't slow down on the first layer, and it's important to keep a steady print speed and extrusion rate throughout the print, otherwise the TPU can degrade in the nozzle, leading to jams. At Ascentium, we offer TPU filament in hardness values from extremely soft ADA all the way up to 74D, which is close to ABS. 74D is especially effective as an ABS replacement material. It's much easier to print with, doesn't warp like ABS, and it's virtually odorless when printing. It also has better layer bonding than ABS. TPU is great for printing parts that are gonna get smashed, banged, dropped, and stretched. We've seen use cases for automotive parts like gaskets, plugs and grommets, and another great use is printing custom protective case inserts for drone parts or tools. So whenever you need a tough and flexible 3D printing material, TPU is a great choice. And as always, if you'd like to learn more about our materials, you can head to ascentium3d.com materials.